Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I am going to show you guys how I have animated this rocket animation project from start till the end. Please note that this is not a step by step tutorial, but in this video, I will show you guys the step by step breakdown of the animation process, which I follow. So before jumping into any tools, I started with a rough sketch to get the basic idea of the overall design of the rocket and the other background elements I would need. Then I used Adobe Illustrator to create the basic shapes to get the overall structure of the rocket first and at this point I am avoiding the color selection process as I am just putting the basic shapes with black strokes and the white fill to get the correct structure of the rocket. Then once I am happy with the overall structure, I started adding colors. I usually use Adobe Color and Pinterest for reference and once I am satisfied with the colors, I add more details to the rocket. Then I started creating the illustration of the background and repeated the whole process once again and here is my final illustration from the initial rough sketch. Now I will separate the layers to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. In After Effects, I have started with the Twinkling Star animation. For that, I have added CC Starburst on a solid layer and then adjusted the scatter value and size and keeping the speed 0. Then added glow effect and animated the glow radius and then added a fill effect to change the color. To keep the star consistent with the overall art style, I have duplicated the layer once again and then animated the scale under the starburst and then changed the blending mode to overlay to properly blend it with the background and gave the color of this layer white. After that, I have copied these layers multiple times and then varied the settings under the CC starburst and also tried out different colors. So here is the final result. Then I pre-comped all the layers together and placed it in a long composition with a height of around 30,000 pixels, then copied it multiple times till it covered the whole composition window. For the fire animation of the rocket engine, I have used three circle shapes of white, yellow and orange color. I also added a few stroke lines of the same color with rounded cap and decreased the stroke width from center to sides. For the circles, I have added scale up and scale down animation in a loop and also added some position keyframe with up and down wiggle motion. For the line stroke, I have added trim path and then animated the start and the end value and offset value in a loop. Then repeated this animation for all the other ships and offset the keyframes. I then added a caution blur and labels in an adjustment layer to blend the ships a bit. Then added a glow effect and also added wiggle expression in the glow radius. For the engine turn off part, I have animated the path of the circle ships and for the stroke line, I have decreased the stroke width to zero. For the engine turn on animation, I have repeated the same process in the reverse order. For the exhaust and the initial particle spread, I have used particle playground. And according to the requirement, I have changed the particle per second direction, velocity, random speed and velocity under canon in particle playground. An important tip. While using particle playground, by default the particles would look like squares. So if you want to change into circular shapes, for that you need to add a circle shape layer. Then under layer map, use layer and select the circle shape layer here. For planets, I have animated the internal elements in X axis, then added an alpha track mat. And then to add some dimension, I have added bulge effect on the planet. While adding the bulge effect, remember to keep the horizontal and the vertical radius same. For the Saturn ring, I have added a dash stroke ellipse 
and animated the offset under the dashed property and used alpha inverted mat to hide the back portion of the ring. For the comet, I have added a glow effect on the yellow fireball and then animated the path in a loop for the red flame. I also added some line stroke. On the stroke, I have added trim path and animated the offset in a loop and then added some particles with CC particle world. I have also animated the shooting star in the similar manner. But for the red flame in the shooting star, I have added scale up and scale down loop animation. Finally, for the camera movement, I have placed the long star composition in another composition with the solid background where the whole illustration and the separated composition layers are placed. Note that during this whole process, I have also used another composition window side by side which is the main composition and that contains the final render for 1920 is to 1080. For the camera movement, I have added a null layer and placed it in the center of the composition window and then parented all the layers with this null excluding the rocket and the elements attached with the rocket layer. I then animated the null object in the Y axis. To add some parallax effect, I have added some internal position animation in the elements that are relatively closer to the camera such as the bushes layer which is the nearest element in the camera so it is going to move the fastest followed by the launch base, mountain, planets, comets and shooting stars. At the initial stage of the rocket takeoff, I have also added some ease to add a slow start. During the takeoff, I have also added a camera shake to make the takeoff more real. For that, I have added some position and rotation keyframes in the main composition window. And here is the final result. That is it for this video. Hope you learned a few important tips and tricks that will help you in your future projects. So if you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson. Make sure to comment down, I would be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.